Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Khadija Khan from New Delhi and today I'm going to tell you about the Mental Health Act and what the Kerala High Court recently said about it. On October 21st, the Kerala High Court ruled that the Mental Health Care Act 2017 is a beneficial piece of legislation that can be given a retrospective effect. But first, let's talk about what it means to apply a law retrospectively or to give it retrospective effect. A retrospective or retroactive law is a law that operates to make punishable or expressly affect an act done prior to its passage. Such laws are even referred to as ex post facto laws. And usually the idea behind them is to criminalize past conduct or actions that happened even before such a law came into existence. In the present case, a single judge bench of the Kerala High Court quashed a criminal case against an MLA's wife who attempted to die by suicide nearly eight years ago. Now coming back to what the case was about. In its October 21st ruling, the Kerala High Court addressed the question of whether the provisions of the Mental Health Act 2017 could be applied retrospectively. The question arose from a petition before the court that sought to quash or set aside a criminal case against a woman who had been booked under Section 309 of the Indian Penal Code, which penalizes the act of attempting suicide with imprisonment up to one year or a fine or both. The petitioner in this case was the wife of a sitting MLA who was contesting the elections. During this time, one of the MLA's opponents created and circulated a defamatory audio clip containing the woman's edited conversations which damaged her husband's election prospects. As a result, she was under severe stress which led her to overdose on sleeping pills, the court noted in its order. Before the court, the woman's lawyer relied on Section 115 of the Mental Health Act, which deals with the presumption of severe stress in cases of attempted suicide. The provision states that notwithstanding anything contained in Section 309 of the Indian Penal Code, any person who attempts to commit suicide shall be presumed, unless proved otherwise, to have severe stress and they will not be tried and punished under the IPC. The second part of this provision goes on to add that the appropriate government has a duty to provide care, treatment and rehabilitation to a person having severe stress and attempting suicide so that the risk of its recurrence is reduced. Relying on this provision, the woman's lawyer argued that going forward with a criminal case against her would amount to a clear abuse of the legal process. On the other hand, the state government argued that the Mental Health Act will not be applicable in this case as it only came into effect from July 7, 2018 and the incident occurred back in May 2016, much before the Act's passage. Now let's take a look at why the Act was passed in the first place. Before the Mental Health Care Act 2017 was passed, a need was felt to protect the rights of persons with mental illnesses and to promote their access to mental health care in the country. Finding the earlier 1987 Mental Health Act to be inadequate in achieving these goals, the government passed this new law intending to provide health care and services for those with mental illness. Even in the present case, the court said that the 2017 Act recognizes that those with mental illnesses make up a vulnerable section of society and are subjected to discrimination. Thus, the environment around them should be made conducive to facilitate their recovery, rehabilitation or full participation in society, the court said. What did the court decide? Underlining that the MHA is clearly a beneficial piece of legislation enacted for people suffering from mental illness and for their rehabilitation and treatment, the court turned to the Supreme Court's 2015 ruling in Commissioner of Income Tax versus Watika Township, where it ruled that although laws are usually presumed to not have a retrospective operation and current laws should govern activities, an exception can still be made for laws that confer benefits. 
where a law is enacted for the benefit of a community as a whole, even in the absence of a provision, the statute may be held to be retrospective in nature, the Apex Court had ruled in 2015. Applying these principles to the present case, the Kerala High Court said that the Mental Health Act can be applied retrospectively since it is a beneficial legislation. Quashing the criminal case against the woman, the court said, unless and until the prosecution is able to prove otherwise, a person who attempts to commit suicide is presumed to be under severe stress and is not liable to be tried or punished under the IPC. Finally, the court said that it was quite disturbing to note that despite the state's obligation under the 2017 Act to provide care, treatment and rehabilitation to those who attempt suicide under stress, the state found it fit to prosecute the petitioner for reasons best known to it. Thanks for tuning in. For more legal updates, keep watching The Print. This is Khadija Khan from New Delhi.